brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. Trash missing the bins, dumped on her driveway. Sharon Torres has been calling EPA and the GIGO mayor's office to clean up the two abandoned cars and trash in front of her home. It is dangerous for the kids. I see children playing in and around here and uh, there's broken glass. The vehicle back there uh, was burned and uh, the fire department had to come and put it out. She remembers when one car caught fire, a safety hazard with no response. They always keep saying they don't have the funds or, um, but you know, as far as abandoned vehicles are concerned, Governor Guam has a lot of property. Why can't they open up an area and allow people come and, and, and abandon, put their cars there, dump it there, you know? instead of dumping it on the side of the road. But Jigo Mayor Rudy Mantanani says they found funds this week to clean up other abandoned cars dumped past Anderson Air Force Gate across Manjita Farm. Work they'll start as early as Friday. We're going to be picking up the trash the, you know, that consists of the tires, the couches, the, the vehicles. We're pretty lucky that we have uh, monies that came from EPA to get rid of these uh, vehicles. A problem he admits is widespread in his village. A lot of our residents seem to think that this is the only the government's problem, but this is our problem. It endangers our, our health, you know, this stinky stuff ain't good for your body. Pride, he says, this should encourage others to keep Jigo or their village clean. Reporting for Guam Z's Network, I'm Carmen Victoria Tirlahi. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.